Well, good morning, online congregation. My name is Pastor Jay, and this is a devotional time. Well, this morning I want to touch on the subject of sexual immorality. This is this is really a, a hot button issue as, as we see uh, sexual explicit material in our commercials today. Uh, sexually explicit materials in, in most of the programming on television uh, that we watch and also uh, whether it, it is the act of sex or whether it's the sexual connotation of the material uh, that we see that, that, that Satan is surrounding us with this, with this, uh, this sexual uh, powder keg of activity just waiting to explode at some point. You know, and one of the things as, as parents and also as a pastor and as Christians, uh, we see that we, we have concern uh, for our young people, uh, basically, our, especially our children and our young adults uh, in the realm of sexual immorality and what Satan is trying to do uh, by destroying uh, our children uh, before they even have a chance to get started in this life in the way the Word of God would tell us. Now, uh, so many times what we're seeing is children uh, having a problem uh, with, with pornography. I was looking at a study this morning from the Henry J. Kaiser Foundation uh, that states that, that uh, children as young as the age of four have been exposed to uh, pornography or pornographic uh, illicit pictures or material, and that by the age of eight could have, and some and many do, already have uh, uh, become addicted uh, to this type of material. You know, we live in a society where sexual immorality is praised by the world. It is uplifted uh, by the world, you know, whether it's the fact of, of uh, sex outside of marriage, uh, living together by, by men and women or whatever the case, or whether it's what we see with the homosexual agenda today that, you know, literally, dear ones, our children, the children that are being born right now, growing up in this country, will see homosexual uh, homosexuality uh, and, and the, the homosexual agenda and same-sex marriage and uh, uh, same-sex uh, sexual activity as being the same as heterosexual activity, our children will see that man and man and woman and woman and them being together in a sexual nature is the same and just as, as wonderful or beautiful as it is for man and woman to be together, which is the way that God had created to be. So we see that they're, they're, they're literally being inundated, our children and our young adults, with this sexual immorality. And I'm going to talk about that from the Word of God this morning. Before we do, let us pray. Dear gracious Heavenly Father, God, Lord, we just thank you so much, Father, uh, for loving us, Lord God. Keep us strong to stand against uh, the things of the devil. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Well, I want to talk about a conference that's going on at Community Baptist Church in Dallas, North Carolina. Uh, my daughter, Kristen, and the entire youth team out of Community, ba Community Baptist under the, uh, under the guidance of Senior Pastor Matthew Sigel, personal and close friend of mine, uh, will be touching and, and really attacking this issue of, of uh, pornography, sexual immorality in our children and young adults. Uh, the conference is called Resist 2016. It will be at Community Baptist Church in Dallas, North Carolina on January the 30th from 3.30 to 7.30 Food will be provided. There will be speakers there speaking on these issues. And they plan on taking on this topic uh, of, of sexual immorality, uh, sex uh, before marriage, and also uh, pornography and the addiction of, these, uh, of this, uh, of this um, terrible uh, thing that is trying to, to uh, overcome our children as Satan is found that in which uh, we desire or our flesh desires and is trying to bring us down uh, from the smallest ages. And I just thank God for that. I want to look at James, the book of James. And in chapter 5, I'm sorry, chapter 4 and verse 7. And it says this, submit yourselves then to God. Submit yourselves unto God and resist the devil and he will flee from you. Well, hallelujah and praise God. So it says, if we submit ourselves unto God, 
and resist the devil, then he will flee from you. And they're going to be talking about that out at this conference at Community Baptist Church on the 30th of January. You know, when we submit ourselves unto God, submit ourselves unto the cross of Jesus Christ, be looking to the cross and not our own desires, be looking to the cross and not our own sexuality, be looking to the cross for Jesus Christ to lead, guide, and direct us into all things holy. Dear ones, listen to me. Uh, the, the word of God tells us that Satan has come but to kill, steal, and destroy. Satan is trying to destroy our families by getting our children at the youngest of age, addicting them to pornography and sexually explicit material. So therefore, when they become adults and they get married, that they already have this twisted, wicked, sick sense of what, of what relationships, sexual relationships are about. And the word of God would tell us it is pure and holy and great when it's done within the confines of marriage and in the confines of Jesus Christ and what he did at Calvary. Dear ones, this is such a hot button issue right now. And I challenge you, I challenge you uh, to get in touch with, with Christian White or with, or with Matthew Siegel out at Community Baptist in Dallas, North Carolina. Or you can also uh, message myself uh, here at Leonard's Fork Baptist Lincoln, and I will get the message uh, to all those involved and try to make it out. Bring yourself and bring your young people, also young adults, out to Resist Conference 2016 Community Baptist Church in Dallas, North Carolina on January the 30th from 3.30 to 7.30. Well, hallelujah and praise God. Well, dear ones, as you go off to work or school or play this morning, remember these things, that if we resist the devil, if we were, if we were, if we resist those temptations, God promises us, hallelujah, that he will flee from you. Well, hallelujah and praise God. Well, there again, my name is Reverend Jay Warlock and I'm the pastor at Leonard Fork Baptist Church. If you do not have a home church, why don't you come out to LFBC? I know that you'll be happy to see what Jesus Christ is doing. Have a great day. Check out all of our newest sermons at www.leonardsfork.org and God bless you today.